everyone, it's Robotic Zombie. Welcome to Surgery Squad. And we are doing a surgery that's about to be explained to us right Hello, now. Hello, and welcome to Surgery Squad's virtual laparoscopic cholecystectomy. I'm Dr. Susie, and I'll be guiding you through this procedure today. Your gallbladder is basically a place that stores bile generated by your liver. As your body digests fats, your gallbladder pushes bile into the common bile duct, down to your small intestine to help digest them. Gallstones form when the bile hardens into small pieces that block the common bile duct. These stones can consist of calcium, blood, and cholesterol, and they can cause moderate to severe pain, along with nausea and or vomiting. When this happens, it is called a gallbladder attack. Gallbladder removal is the best treatment for gallstones. There are two types, open gallbladder surgery and laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Open gallbladder surgery involves one large incision and removal of the gallbladder. It is performed when the laparoscopic method is not possible, or when complications or too much scarring from previous surgeries are found, or when the patient's blood won't clot well. This type of surgery causes more pain and longer recuperation time. A laparoscopic cholecystectomy, however, is the most common and often the best method to remove a gallbladder. It is where the gallbladder is removed through several small cuts in your abdomen. The surgery is safe, and folks who have it normally recover within one week. There are a number of benefits to having laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Among them, you'll be able to eat food without pain in most cases. It eliminates any discomfort in the stomach lining, and in some cases, it relieves your upset stomach. However, if you have your gallbladder removed, you might experience chronic diarrhea, indigestion, trouble digesting, severe liver problems, fatigue, and rare but intense abdominal pain. The patient waiting for us has been suffering from pretty severe gallstone pain, so it is imperative we get his gallbladder out. Let's scrub up and get going. Our patient is already under general anesthesia, thanks to our nurses and anesthesiologists. We're going to make four small incisions, one right below the belly button and three others right over the abdomen. First, we'll disinfect the area where we're going to make our first incision. Okay, so as I was telling you guys, um, we're about to perform this surgery and graphic warning. Um, I'll need to put up some kind of graphic warning for you guys. Um, but yeah, I am going to be doing several of these surgery games, probably in the order of, uh, people that I've known have gone through these surgeries. Uh, and then I'll go on to the ones that I have no idea what they're about or what happens, uh, when they happen. So let's see. Click and drag. Oh, here we go. Got disinfect. Do that or do the okay. It's kind of weird. It's kind of like it's some some part of it is it's moving on its own. Is that it? Good. Now take your scalpel and make a small incision right below his belly button. Oh, that sound. Nice and clean. We've got to see where we're going. Mm. So we'll first inflate his abdomen with a little carbon dioxide to have some room to work. Okay. Just letting you guys know, the person that I know who's gone through this had the, um, the... I believe it was called open abdomen surgery. It was just one big cut they made in their body, and then they took the gallbladder out because uh, their surgery was done um, almost 30 years ago. So it was just easier at the time, or I don't believe this technology existed with the cameras. So just cut the person open. They have an awesome scar, <laughs> but. Recovery time was not as simple. Let's see. Just right. Now we'll use this laparoscopic camera to help us see where we're going. We'll watch our monitor as we go. 
Okay. Slow and steady. You're、oh. doing a great job. Thanks. And there it is. I'll take care of the other incisions for our laparoscopic tools. Okay. Now that all of the trocars are in place, can you move the liver out of the way using the clamp so we can get to the gallbladder? Excellent work. Okay. We should have plenty of room to work now. Before making any incisions into the gallbladder, we'll need to clamp off the bile duct in three locations. Okay. So one, two, and three. Great. Now use the scissors to sever it. Okay. Oh. I'll hold the gallbladder <laughs> in place while you work to cut it from the liver. We'll use an electrocautery device to minimize bleeding. Electrocautery, so instantly going to be cauterized. Fantastic! Looks like you've done this before. One Ugh, last thing. Nope. Let's take our clamp through the cut under the belly button and pull this guy out. Oh no! Oh. Ah. <laughs> nice work. Our scope shows that everything's clean. We've removed the gas, so let's close him up and get him to a fast recovery. Staple. Hope those hold. Our patient is now in recovery, Yay. and he'll probably be there for a few hours. We'll send him home when he's able to eat something and drink fluids easily. We'll also make sure he can walk on his own before we let him go. He'll probably have a small amount of diarrhea, and his doctor will probably have him on a special diet to follow for a few days. He should be ready to resume a normal life after a couple days of taking it easy. And that's how we perform a laparoscopic cholecystectomy. You did a great job today. Thanks. While you're here, try your hand at one of our other surgeries here on SurgerySquad.com. Okay, so we have breast cancer and the、uh, teeth cleaning. So that was an experience.、Uh, <laughs> I thank thank you guys for watching this, and I'll see you later. Bye.